won't be a hacker. <laughs> when the goalies get in the ceiling. I won't be a hacker. <laughs> when it comes to the career of cybersecurity, one of the most famous, really not the most famous, but one of the most well known and um, well regarded entry level positions in cybersecurity is the cybersecurity analyst. Today, I'll be talking briefly about what a cybersecurity analyst is and what they do. Let's get started. Hello everyone, my name is Grant Collins. Welcome to the Complete Career Series for Cybersecurity. Today we're gonna to be talking about uh, security analysts. Um, this is probably a position that I will actually most likely end up in um, because you really don't have to have a ton of prerequisites to get into a position for an entry-level role. Basically, the overall job description of a security analyst is to detect and prevent cyber threats to an organization. That is really general, and we'll get into more detail here. So as noted in the introduction video, I'm going to be going over the responsibilities, the annual uh, salary, the job requirements, and of course, the skills that are required of a security analyst in general. So let's go ahead and get on to the responsibilities. A security analyst is going to do a wide array of different things, and depending on which position you are applying for, where you're at within the company, a security analyst can mean so many different things. It can mean managing a lot of the security program, or it can mean just doing one specific thing. But in general, a security analyst is going to do the following. They're going to analyze security policies and protocols and do thorough audits to determine weaknesses, plan, implement, and upgrade security controls, initiate vulnerability scans, risk analysis, and security assessments, conduct annual internal and external audits, anticipate and respond to security alerts and incidents, manage network intrusion detection and prevention systems, research and recommend appropriate security tools for a specific problem, create and maintain corporate security policies, train employees in security awareness and procedures, that's important, and manage relationships with outside security vendors. That's a lot of responsibilities and of course, it can get into more detail depending on which position you're on. But that's over the overall general basis of what a security analyst is going to do. The national average for the United States salary is going to be 42000 to 100000 depending on where you are at within the United States. That's a lot of money. And considering that when you start out, and you, you let's say you start at seventy five thousand dollars. That's pretty good for how, how almost having no certifications or experience or well some certifications. Okay, wait. Let's just get into that part. In regards to job requirements, oftentimes recommended degrees, college degrees include computer science, cybersecurity, computer information systems, information systems management, or anything related within the IT sector or certifications. The most highly recommended ones are going to be the Security Plus, CEH, the GIAC uh, security certifications, and the CASSP. Now, don't hold me to a uh, to a T when it comes to this because there's so many certifications out there, and if you ask one professional to the other or whatever, people are going to have difference in opinions and what they're looking for in certifications. But in general, that is what's usually recommended for security analysts. The past experience. Oftentimes, you can get into a security analyst role with zero to five years experience, depending on what you've done in the past. So what do you have that's behind you? Like, do you have a degree? Do you have some certifications? Can you show that you're doing this and that, and you know how to do this and that, and you can describe this and that? <laughs> I'm just joking. It really just depends on the the past things that you've done, but this is oftentimes a starter position, an entry level position in security. So you can't have zero years experience in the past, depending on what you do. And finally, for the skills, of course, soft skills are always going to be important, but that's for another video. So the hard skills, the skills that you should probably be focusing on if you want to become a security analyst are going to include vulnerability testing, 
data loss pre prevention, DLP, antivirus, anti-ransomware, or malware, uh, knowledge of the TCP IP stack, computer networking, routing, and switching, general knowledge of those, firewall and IDS IPS, Windows, Unix, and Linux environments, for programming languages, often recommended as C, C++, PHP, Python, Java, Bash, and PowerShell. That can always be subject to change. Cloud computing and a managing and configuring a SEM system, information event management uh, platform. So for a security analyst, there is a lot you can do and there is so many things that, um, so many descriptions of what a security analyst does, but in general, that is what a security analyst does. So that is it for today's video. That is position one down. We have so many more to go. Um, and of course, those scammers, those damn scammers, you gotta make sure you give them the taste of what they're trying to do. That is it for today's video. If you've liked, consider subscribing and uh, have a good day.